Hey guys, thanks for coming to the channel. Uh, Mike the Intrepid Fisherman. Uh, today I'd like to start a new series, uh, a series about little quick tips, maybe three to five minute little short videos with some tips for you guys that I don't normally see out there on YouTube. You know, you see the leaders, you see the, um, I don't know, how to use a hook, which hook to use, and I may go through some of those when I get past some of the first ones here. But what I'm looking to share with you is some little tweaks and tips and almost like life hack type things for fishing. Um, some of the little things that I've found over the years that help me to do the various things that I do when I'm out there on the water. So the first one that I'm going to share with you um, is a water bottle tip. And you're like, water bottle tip? What are you talking about, Mike? So what I do when I go out, I carry this little blue and gray cooler with me for my water bottles. It carries about nine straight down in and then a few fit on top or you know you can pack in some kind of food or chips or something on top for something to snack on and what I do is I throw water bottles in the freezer and I freeze them solid um, every time I go out when I take a water bottle out I put a new one in the freezer and I just simply replace them so the next time I have one ready and I usually have like I said nine of them stand up in there so I usually put a couple in the corner frozen and then the rest are from the fridge so that they're kind of cold um, but not frozen so they're ready to drink right away these things melt very very quickly in the sun but what that does is it leaves a core of ice and it man it makes the water cold it keeps the, the ones from the fridge cold while they're in there um, and it gives you something really nice and cold to drink because out here in this Texas heat when I'm out there fishing in uh, 90 and 100 degree weather this is really nice to have so like I said I I put them in the corners and I put one down in the center and I just kind of put the other just liquid ones around it. The other thing I do with these is if you're out there crabbing and you put crabs just in a bucket of water, they can die. Crabs use the oxygen and water very quickly. Even if you put a bubbler in there, um, you can lose the crabs on the bottom, especially the ones that can't get up towards the top. Crabs can live out of water. They can live absolutely out of water for a couple of days. As long as you keep them cold, cool, not super cold, but cool, they'll be fine. So the trick is, don't just put them in ice, because if they touch the ice, they'll get too cold and they'll die. And if crabs die, they produce a toxin in, their, in the meat that can make you sick. And if you eat enough of it, I'm sure it can kill you too, but, but it definitely can make you sick. So you don't want to eat a dead crab. You don't want to put a dead crab in your, in your crab boil, because whoever eats that one can get sick. So every time you do a crab boil, you always want to make sure as you're putting them in, you shake them a little bit, make sure their legs move, make sure they're alive. One way to keep them alive while you're out there in that Texas heat is to put them on ice. But you don't want to put them directly in the ice because they're touching it, they'll get too cold. You don't want to put them under or anywhere where that ice melt can get to them because they'll drown. I know that sounds funny, but even in salt water, a crab can drown if there's not enough oxygen in that water. So the trick I have, and let me take you down here and, and show you the, uh, let, me, let me move the camera and we'll get set back up and I'll show you what I do to keep the crabs cold, out of the water, and alive till you eat them. Okay, so what I do, here's the cooler that I always bring, it has a ruler on top so I can measure fish, you can see I use it for cutting up my cut bait and stuff, it's always looking like a fish cooler, because uh, I don't put anything in here, this is mostly bait, uh, large bait cooler and stuff like that. If I put uh, keeper fish in here, I usually bag them. So what I do is I take these water bottles and I line the bottom. It just takes nine of these water bottles. You just put them in there. Okay. And then you line the bottom with it. Now, you don't want to set the crabs directly on this, of course. Like I just said, you, you, if they're touching it directly, they can get too cold, and that can kill them also. So what you want to do is you, you can either get like that uh, stuff that you see on some of the older um, lights in factories and stuff. It's little thin stuff. It's about a quarter of an inch thick, and it's just got the you know square holes or square uh, openings. And you can just cut it to this shape and put it in there, and that'll work. Or what I do... I haven't got any of that stuff. I just take a, an old beach towel and just double line it, double, you know, flop it over twice. Don't do too many because you want them to stay onto the ice. And just lay it down in there. Tuck it in the corner a little bit. What's up, doggy? There's Roxy, my dog, my buddy, huh? 
So you just put it down in there and just put something so that this can't close completely. A little piece of rag is usually good enough. This, for this cooler, it, it really seals. I mean, you really got to pry it open. So I really have to be careful. I usually stick a little rag here because what you don't want is for this completely close and for the crabs not to have any oxygen. Um, you can open the little drain hole, but with this rag in here, it kind of blocks that and that really doesn't give good air flow. So I usually stick a little rag right here just so that this can't close completely. And if I don't bring one, I just make sure when I close it, it's just not, it's just open like this. It's not fully closed. And that's it. I mean, just put the crabs in here. You know, you can stack them up a little higher. If you need more crabs, man, bring a bigger cooler and bring more water bottles. Um, there don't have to be a complete, it doesn't have to fill the bottom. It just has to keep the inside of this cooler cold while you're out there in the heat. Um, they just can't overheat. They can stay out of the water. I've had them out of the water two full days. I've caught them the day before, got home so late, didn't want to deal with it, waited till the next night's dinner time, and then cooked them up. So this really will keep them alive for a while. All right, so that's the quick tip for today. Um, I'm gonna to be uploading these every Tuesday around 6 p.m. I'm gonna have them scheduled for upload. So check me out every Tuesday, 6 p.m. I want to do that to have something out there for a little bit more regular content. I can't always get out and fish every day at the same time and get it uploaded the same time each week. So I was just trying to think of a way I can provide you guys with some kind of information each week so that you have some content. Um, and this is one of the things. Thanks. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Please like this and share it with your friends. And I appreciate everybody out there and we'll see you next time.